not the peak. Also, not what was wanted or expected this morning. Not what was wanted or expected. Look, investment banks were pulled sort of expecting what, what did they want to see. Uh, the numbers were about 8 to 8.5. So even this is coming in hotter than what a lot of people were expecting as the top. Uh, a sign perhaps of a, a slight not getting worse, you know, in terms of core month over month. But when you look at some of the categories that uh, consumers most experience, food, those prices going up 10%. Uh, inflation 10% year over year. The cost of shelter 5.5% year over year. This is why some economists are really concerned about those who uh, don't have a lot of wiggle room in their budget to begin with. You're seeing things like food prices go up. Of course, we talk about energy every day. Look at that gasoline number. Exactly. 48.7% compared to a year ago. I spoke to Diane Swanka, a prominent economist, uh, yesterday about sort of what she is seeing in terms of the consumer. And she told me, look, everybody feels inflation, but not evenly. And the fact that higher income households can spend on the most discretionary of things, such as travel, is as important a narrative as those who are hunkering down. It perpetuates inflation, uh, inflation, she said. Uh, So this is not certainly something that people wanted to see.